Happy Wealth Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in. If this is the first time you're tuning in, I welcome you to my page. My name is Boalia Desmond. I'm a wife to one, a mom of two boys, and I'm on a mission to help families create and increase generational wealth because of what debt freedom has done for our family. And I believe everybody should live a life of choices. So today's Wealth Wednesday. I will hope you were able to bless somebody and make somebody's day that was not expecting to be blessed by you. So um, I titled my message today, Embracing Failure, because failure is not to be looked at as something that's bad, okay? Failure should be looked at as, as an opportunity for learning and growing, an opportunity for learning and growing. When you think about the times that you have done something that you've never done before and maybe failed at it and said, I don't think I'll ever do that again. I want you to think of it the opposite. I want you to say, hey, you know what? I want an opportunity to do this thing again because more than likely when you're doing something that you've never done before there's going to be some failure there but it's not to be looked at as something that's bad it's to be looked at in itself and examined it's to be looked at and examined i want to share a story with you that um, happened to me recently so i had an opportunity after going through like a little process to finally be in front of a VP of a company and two other individuals that he had picked to be on the Zoom call. And um, just the fact that I got this far was just absolutely fantastic to me. And so went through the motions, went through the questions, and um, I had a product that I, was, um, that I was speaking to them about because I knew this product would benefit um, their employees. And what it turned out was um, they loved the product, but they didn't have a budget for it because of the number of employees that they have they didn't have a budget for it. So I could, I had a choice. I could either have looked at that and said, oh my goodness, I'm not any good. I had no business being in front of, of um, people like, like him. But no, in, I, I, belonged, I belonged there. And this is really what this whole thing taught me. Number one, I, w I had the right posture because I was speaking about a product that I absolutely 100% believe in. And I know the benefits of what it can do for their employees. So them saying not now meant for me it taught me that i could get in front of anybody okay the fact that i was able to have a, a a great conversation with this um vp i could have a conversation like that with 10 other companies and that's what that did for me it fueled me to understand that hey you know what i want another opportunity with another company to do this again so i had to so i had to stop and self-examine what went well what went wrong? What did I miss? Did I miss something? And then now I'm ready to do it again. Okay, so I want you to think about something that maybe you have thought of as a failure and you said, I'm never gonna do that again. Ask yourself, what went well? What went wrong? What did you miss? But now you want another opportunity. Let it be the fuel for you. And then I wanna give you something that you can apply to any scenario that you are setting a goal for so a group of friends and myself are embarking on something because all summer long we've kind of let ourselves go we've been um, exercising yes but maybe not totally watching the things that we eat so we've decided to do a reset we're going to do a reset it's 24 days long we're beginning um, august 23rd and it's going to be 24 days long right so at the end of 24 days we're going to ask ourselves what went well what went wrong, and then what did we learn? What went well, what went wrong, what did we learn from from our experience? I want you to, t to apply this to another goal that you may have that you haven't started yet or thinking about starting. They call it the perseverance, um, perseverance list. So never look at failure as something that's to be looked down on, as something that should make you feel bad. It should be expected, taken as a learning and growth opportunity, because once you're doing something that's too big, once you're doing something that you've never done before, you should expect it to be difficult. Expect to have some failure, but rise up and know that you are worthy and rise up and know that you want to do it again. You want to keep doing it, re rinse and repeat until you get it right. So I thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow.